attendance tonight was 10,088. We did a $4.4 million gate. The fight of the night, Weidman Machida. Yeah. Performance of the night, Ronda Rousey yeah. and Font. Congratulations. They all won $50,000. Font. <clears throat> Calm down. You're not getting any of that. <laughs> Who's got the first question? Dana, uh, you seem like you're a little bit upset with Joe Rogan, uh, maybe more than a little upset. What happened? I wasn't upset with Joe Rogan. I was upset with the truck telling him to tell Rhonda that she's going to fight again. That wasn't true. That was some shit that somebody made up back there. I don't know what happened. It was the biggest idiotic move in the history of our production team. So, so what was the conversation there? You were talking to the truck then, not Joe? Yeah. Okay. And then did I take it when I saw you go in the back, you were talking to Ron to apologize? When I went in the back? Yeah. No. Oh, that no, was. I told them right up there. That's not true. I don't know where that came from. That is, uh, that was not, uh, that was, nobody told anybody to say that. Okay. Hey, for Dana, please. Um, do you have any updates on Stefan Strew's condition? What's, what's the latest there? Yeah, he's doing great. The, the doctors cleared him and let him go. You know, he has this condition that he, every specialist and doctor has cleared him and checked him out, and, and the commission approved him. Uh, it reminds me of the Holyfield thing. You know, the guy's going to have to retire, and then he's back. And um, I guess tonight you could – you could. he had something like a panic attack. His, his, he started hyperventilating. He almost blacked out. He, had a, he started hyperventilating. His, his blood pressure dropped. Um, I don't know, just one of those weird things. It, it, I'm just glad he's okay, and, you know. I was going to say, I mean, is this something that, it, it, again, it seems like you have to start thinking, is this a career-ending type situation, or is right. it too early to tell? I think it's something that he really needs to think about. You know, obviously, you know, you, you, you meet some of these guys that love to compete so much that they'll overlook certain things. I, I think tonight showed that he's not one of those guys. He started to black out, and he started having a panic attack, like there was something wrong with his heart again. I think, again, this is all just what I've heard, um, but I think that he, that he needs to do some soul search. And he's a super talented guy. He's a great guy. We love the guy. Um, and, and I don't know. We'll see, we'll see where he goes from here. And um, obviously you talked <clears throat> about the situation post-fight with Ronda. Can you tell us what is happening with USC 176? There seems to be a lot of discussion that there's just I have no, no fight idea. I have no idea. I, I don't care. I don't even want to think about that right now. I am in the best mood I've been in a long time. I don't give a shit what's going on with that fight right now. I just want to take this in and enjoy my weekend. I Believe me, I will have a million nightmares on Monday that I will deal with. Uh, for Dana, if I could please. Also, do you have any update on, on Uriah Hall? And um, once you get that update, do, do you think what he did tonight kind of answers some of those questions that we had about his mindset, his toughness? You know, was he really a, a quote-unquote fighter? Right, yeah. I, I don't. Does anybody on my staff know? Yeah, he's transported. It was a pretty nasty break. I mean, it, it looked, you know, it was whatever in the first round. By the third round, it was nasty. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, everybody knows. I, I love Uriah Hall. I, I, I like the kid um, professionally and personally. And uh, it was good to see him, you know, let his hands go tonight and fight through a broken toe. And, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm not concerned whatsoever. Uh, you know, the, like, there's still, there's still uh, nine other girls out there that, that are in the top ten. A couple weeks ago, Hannah Barrow hadn't lost a fight in 10 years. Um, he had finished every title fight. And the list goes on and on. You know, th there's always a, what Rhonda said earlier, you know, Rhonda, what motivates you to keep working this hard? It's that gap. You know, if, if you want to stay that much better than everybody, you want to stay good, you got to keep working hard. And uh, th anybody on any given night can step into that octagon and have their worst performance while your opponent has the greatest performance of their life. That can happen to anybody on any given night. I mean, we've seen it so many times in this sport, and, and in the last year, we've seen it happen a lot. So there's always somebody. The, the fight was so close. Do you anticipate an early rematch, or is there someone else in your mind that's also in the mix? I, I had the fight four to one. I, I, I had it. Uh, I, I, gave, uh, I gave Machida the, the fourth round. Um, it was a great fight. And, uh, you know, this is one of those fights for, for Chris Weidman that, you know, he, he beat Anderson Silva twice, undefeated, and the way he beat Anderson Silva twice. And to, to get this fight against a guy like Machida and uh, be undefeated, have those two on your resume, I think what's next and what everybody would like to see, I think what I'd like to see and what you'd like to see is probably Vitor Belfort. 
So let's see what happens with Vitor. This guy can get his business handled. You know, I don't, I don't think Machida's going anywhere. Machida's one of these guys in this division that's one of the, one of the best in the world. Um, we'll see how this thing plays out. I don't know.